Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. The door will lead us out of this place. We have just beaten blind and completed the Thieves' Hideout, the one that I was really, really wanting to finish off. For one basic reason. It will give us uh, one of the sages saved. It gave us one Master Roar. And we're looking for this painting, which is, of course, the saved sage. It's in this door, this small hut, and we wanted to do this before we came back because it's Osvala, which is, of course, like he walked into the painting and got trapped there. All right, and Thief Girl escapes. We'll pick up our heart container since Blind didn't drop one, and we will save Osvala, which gives us one benefit. Well, several benefits, but the one major benefit. First, we can enter the Sacred Realm, and we see the crystal, which is Osvala, who will say, Where am I? You, the blacksmith's apprentice, what are you doing here? And with the Master Sword, no less. That can only mean that you have rescued me? But I always thought I was going to be the hero of our day, that I was the one who'd be there for Princess Zelda. It seems that I am only a sage and not the hero. How very odd. Yet, now I know my place in all this. So I pledge my support to your quest, little hero. Thank you for saving me, Link. Now please find the rest of the Seven Sages before it is too late. And I suppose if you're the hero, then you have more need of this sand rod than I have. I wish I could give it to you as a gift, but truth be told, it's not mine. It belongs to a merchant named Ravio. I rented it, and the deal is that if I fell in battle, well, never mind. I need to get it back to him, but I seem to be stuck here. So return this for me, would you? We got the sand rod, but you'll have to return to Ravio. At least then you can find it at a shop. And had you never died, this would be the first time you see Swoopa swing in and get the item. Because the second we come out of here, Swoopa comes, swings up, smells the item on you, and steals it. So we need to head back to our world. We've seen one teleport point in this area. Uh, it was in that broken house. That one right there. So let's take that one back. No, you know what? We'll leave that one. I don't want to take that one. Um, can't cross up there. I want to try to get to this area south of everything, but I can't quite reach that either. So. We'll head over, let's head back to our house, since I don't see a teleport point outside of it. Our house is going to be a very good hub because you can fly there for Ravio's shop in any case. But now that we've got the sand rat as an option, and we have the ability to purchase items, I think we can go and take care of a lot of uh, backtracking stuff that we never really got to do. And you can see, our house is a place that you can actually fly to. Now that we have... Then there's our teleport point. But our place is right here. Touch and... A new weather vane has been added to your map. The vacant house. We won't save. We've been playing for a while. Yes, I have. I've recorded quite a few episodes in this gap. Uh, this is still the day that... Oh, I didn't mention it. Um, I started recording on episode 7 today. And today is still the one where we're coming from. The very beginning. So if you look up, can't really get there, except for a little crack you can see in the back. But it's still our house. So from here, we actually want to go to the back side of the house and merge and, oh, I was going to say just walk in. Instead, I guess we bomb our way in. Can't every, everything can't be solved with the gimmick of the game. So yeah, still working from the time this uh, day that episode one came up. I'm going to be busy next week, so I wasn't able to do too much. We now have three bottles, which means we should have three fairies when we continue on in the future. Or at least two. Give us enough that we can still get a chance of getting the gold bee. Because you saw, it was 9,999 rupees if we're purchasing it straight out. Nothing else interesting in this house now that we've gotten that bottle. We will head back to this world. And I guess I can show off what sort of things we'll be doing soon. I don't know that we'll be able to do it all the next time, but... Oh. 
Oh my, lad. You're alive? I thought that. No matter. Glad to see you. Tell me, is Princess Zelda safe? No. I see. So you guys become evil itself? In a kingdom of shadow? Curse him for all eternity? This guy like, believes everything. His evil is spread even here. Refuge vanished into Hyrule Castle. A quake shook the kingdom. It left fissures like this all through Hyrule. And when there are cracks, can the shattering be far behind? Oh, Link. With Princess Zelda in our enemy's hands, Hyrule is on the brink of disaster. But you, you at least wield the sacred blade of legend, the Master Sword. Hope lives still. As long as you hold that sword, your courage will surely see us through. The future of Hyrule Kingdom is in your hands, Link. Indeed it is. So, now that we have access to this, we're going to head up and we're going to take a look at the one thing I've wanted to show off most of the time. I think we're finally at the point where we're going to be able to do a good chunk of it, enough to make it worth it. This cave. So we head in here, and it's a nice, really calm cave with a giant squid. So we'll talk to the squid. Mother Mayamai. My oh my, what business have you with Mother Mayamai? Forgive me if my spirits aren't flying so high. We were on a great voyage through all the worlds, my Tyke and I. Then I lost sight of my little Mayamais. All 100. 100 of her babies. By and by, can you find them all? You'll hear the children crying, calling for their mother, Mayamai. Of course. Mother Mayamai finds you quite the calm child. Take this, it'll help you know if my tykes are nearby. And she changes our map. The Mayamai map. If we touch it, you can see there are numbers that have now appeared on the screen, including three in an area we haven't been able to reach. It tells you how many Mayamais are in there, and then when you rescue, one will, it'll decrease. Now please, go search for the Mayamais. I want to do all the ones in an area, as, like, if I can do them all. If I can't do them all, I don't want to do it, because I just want to make a video that covers each area. So if we take a look, like, you can already see there's one... That's the reason I didn't do this earlier, because you can see there's one right on the wall right there, and it's going to be annoying squeaking until we go collect them. But, while we still have a little bit of time, I'm going to want to go and try to make it to the area in the far south. First of all, you can see you can swap between the maps. There's this little button with the Triforce and the Black Triforce, I'm going to call it. And you can see where you would be if you go through any specific one of these. It looks like it'll pop up right here since it's the same area on either side. Unfortunately, can't do anything there. This looks bombable, because it probably is. Opens up another doorway. And any portal, like any path you have gone through, you'll see it's now a slit on the map. I don't feel like messing around with this path, so we'll, we'll deal with it later when we're going through. I have a goal. I want to get to that bottom left area. The, really the only area in the overworld we haven't gone to. And you can see there's another one of those buried there. These need the big gauntlets. Or something to move big rocks, I guess is a better way of phrasing it. But we can make it almost all the way here pretty easily. And we have a portal right in this rock. Which, if we take, we can check on this map. We'll see we are entering the bottom left area. Welcome back to Low Rule. Find yourself near a swamp that is dead, dread and rotting. There's also desert sand near the sage. But there is no desert in Low Rule. If you see that you must bring an item into the temple there that'll give you control over the sand. I say again there is no desert in Low Rule, but I do sense the start of your path is here though. Yes. Your start of your path is here. And you need to bring the sand rod, the one that we just got before we can do it. But you can see we have had well walk through here and we can enter the swamp. Not too many interesting things on the swamp, but this is here. So we're gonna want this teleport point as well. Misery Mire. We don't need to save. And you can see there's another Mayamai down there. 
but you can't even make it past this. Easily, anyways. You can always merge and walk around up top up here. Don't think there's anything up here, though, for it. But I have been wrong before. Yeah, look at that. Your height is just off enough you can't take up there. We can head back into the desert, though. Sorry, not the desert. Into this uh, section. We can't quite make it to the desert. Yeah, I wanted to go through the Dark World before the desert. And I'm going to call it the Dark World, even though I know it's not quite the Dark World. We want to try to find a possible path we can take that will give us access to this area in the light world. We can't reach here otherwise. And you can see, look at, there's the desert, there's the sand that they were talking about. So you can actually already see the end of the dungeon. But you can tell that there's no way to get to it yet. That's why this portal is going to be nice. I want to go to there. In order to get there, though... Hey, look, it's another Maya Mai. We have to get to this forest down here. Which is another crack. So either we have to get to this one first, or the other one first. Since we can't cross this area. Oh. Well, I guess I'll take this right in the center here that I completely missed. And it'll actually pop us out in the desert that we can actually do stuff with. Now that we have access to the desert, we can see there's a path up here. That's going to be one of the more important ones we get open. And we can, we can play around a lot more in this area once we have our sand rod with us, but I'd rather do all my um, collect-a-thon stuff, get that all ready, because here's another entrance. There's all sorts of stuff you can do here. Also, a lot of uh, vultures coming to get us. And as such, we're going to head back to our house and try to decide where to go next. Oh look, a little bit of water. How oh, nice. But we can access this area, meaning we can have a chance of getting the three Maya Mai's that are hidden here. You can even hear them already. Sorry, these guys are bugging me. So, it could be as simple as there's one hiding right back there. There wasn't. But I will see you guys then for, I guess, what I hope to be overworld Maya Mai hunting. See you guys then. Oh. I've, I was flying back to my house first. But yes, I'm, I'm going to call this episode a little early. I know we've had a few long episodes recently. This is going to just be a little change. Have a good night.